There are massive downsides of taking low dose aspirin and you have to be sure that those risks don't outweigh the benefits. We know that cardiovascular disease and cancer are the leading causes of death worldwide. For people who already have had a heart attack or stroke, the evidence is clear. Yes, aspirin can be beneficial, but for people who have never had a heart attack or stroke, that's where things get tricky. Aspirin works by binding to our platelets and making our blood thinner. And based on old studies, aspirin appeared to help protect against your first heart attack. But then three massive studies were done, and when the results were combined, aspirin didn't appear to protect against your first heart attack or stroke. Which is a really interesting finding. But let's have a deeper look into the stroke research. What appears to happen if people take aspirin is that yes, they may reduce their chances of having an ischemic stroke. As in, a protective effect against one of the blood vessels getting blocked in the brain. However, that benefit appears to be cancelled out by an increase in bleeding strokes. Overall, when we combine all of the research together, looking at people who are taking aspirin to prevent their first heart attack or stroke, there doesn't appear to be a benefit, and this includes no benefit on all-cause death rates. But here's the scary thing. We've got very good research showing that aspirin significantly increases the chances of major bleeding, including brain bleeding. So using aspirin to try and prevent your first heart attack is generally not a good idea. The only times I use it in the clinic is for patients who are very high risk. So these are patients with a strong family history of heart attacks, who smoke and who are diabetic. For a patient such as that, then yes, aspirin may provide a benefit. But for the vast majority of patients who are watching this type of video, aspirin should not be used because there's only questionable benefits and proven harms. The other point that's sometimes raised as a reason for why healthy people should take aspirin is a potential reduction in cancer rates. Aspirin has an anti-inflammatory effect where it reduces prostaglandin production. Evidence from individual patient data in randomized controlled trials with long-term follow-up suggests that aspirin can reduce the chance of colorectal cancer, but this finding only starts to emerge after 10 years of follow-up. And finally, from the ASPRI trial, we've got very good research showing that aspirin does not reduce the chances of death, dementia, or persistent physical disability, leading to the overall conclusion that aspirin use in healthy people does not prolong disability-free survival over a five-year period, but it leads to a higher rate of major bleeding. So it irritates me when people refer to low-dose aspirin as baby aspirin, because that minimizes the harms. This is why aspirin is seldom prescribed for primary prevention, and it should be reserved for high-risk patients like we've previously gone through. Instead, if you want to prevent a heart attack or stroke, it's the usual advice. A great diet such as the Mediterranean diet, regular exercise, high-quality sleep, socializing, meditation, blood pressure, sugar, and cholesterol control. And make sure to check out the next video here on the two medications that I use in addition to all of that to help me lead a healthier life. And if you want early access to these videos, make sure to check out the pinned comment where you can find a link to my Patreon.